Ever wondered how a childhood passion can shape a royal's destiny? Today, we're unveiling the heartwarming journey of Lady Sarah Chano, newly named president of the Royal Ballet School. Stay tuned to discover her deep-rooted connection to ballet and the arts. Welcome to World Fame Stories, where we bring you the most captivating stories from the world of royalty and celebrities. Today, we're focusing on Lady Sarah Chano, who has recently been named the president of the Royal Ballet School. Let's dive into her fascinating journey, from a young ballet enthusiast to a prominent figure in the arts. Lady Sarah Chano, now 60, has a rich history intertwined with the world of ballet. Following in her late mother Princess Margaret's footsteps, she has taken on the prestigious role nearly 70 years after her mother first held the position in 1956. But this new role is more than just a formality for Lady Sarah, it's a continuation of a lifelong passion. In October 1974, when Lady Sarah was just 10 years old, her father, the renowned photographer Lord Snowden, captured some enchanting photos of her at a ballet class. These images, taken in Hammersmith, West London, show the young royal dressed in a leotard and ballet shoes, eagerly participating in her weekly Monday evening lessons. During this particular class, Lady Sarah had the privilege of being taught by none other than Dame Nanette de Valois, the founder of the Royal Ballet School. Dame Nanette personally guided her through the basics, positioning her arms and legs with the precision and care only a true ballet icon could provide. Following her personal lesson with Dame Nanette, Lady Sarah continued her training under the guidance of former Royal Ballet dancer Miss Nora Roche. According to reports, Princess Margaret didn't need to encourage her daughter to attend these classes. Lady Sarah's love for dance was evident from the start. Each week, she eagerly awaited her hour-long lessons, a testament to her dedication and passion for ballet. Lady Sarah's artistic journey didn't stop at ballet. Her late father, Lord Snowden, played a significant role in fostering her interest in the arts. After her parents' divorce in 1978, when Lady Sarah was 14, she pursued her studies at the Camberwell School of Art and the Royal Academy Schools. She also spent two formative years in India with her father while he worked on the film A Passage to India. Over the years, Lady Sarah has become a respected artist in her own right. Her works are regularly exhibited at various exhibitions, including the Redfern Gallery in London, showcasing her diverse talents and deep connection to the arts. Lady Sarah's new role as president of the Royal Ballet School comes after King Charles stepped down from the position to become the patron. She has been involved with the school for many years, serving as vice president since 2004. Her commitment to the arts and her long-standing support for the Royal Ballet School make her an ideal successor to her mother's legacy. During her tenure as president, Princess Margaret regularly attended performances by both students and professionals at the Royal Ballet Company. It's expected that Lady Sarah will continue this tradition, bringing her unique perspective and passion to the role. There you have it. The inspiring journey of Lady Sarah Chato from a young ballet enthusiast to the president of the Royal Ballet School. What do you think of her lifelong dedication to the arts? Share your thoughts in the comments below, and don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more exclusive stories. Thanks for joining us on World Fame Stories!